Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 405 and my name is Ajay. I'm today going to walk you through uh, a code which is going to help us in creating the appointments in the Outlook calendar. Right now this 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 was pending um, um, from a long time actually uh, because I received a uh, couple of people have posted a comment on the channel and also written an email that if we want to create appointment in the Outlook calendar how we can do that using the VBA right so uh, welcome to the channel and if you're watching the channel for the first time then what you can do you can watch all these 405 videos uh, on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA on my channel all you need to do is go to the channel and this is the channel uh, by the way this is the channel name uh, YouTube dot com slash c slash ajay kumar parman right so when you go there guys these are all the different different playlists which we have created these are the 44 playlists which we have created right and i always talk about these playlists in the beginning because many of you come and say that there are 400 videos you know more than 400 videos it's very difficult to you know find out which relevant video is you know basically they are looking right so if you're looking for something which is which is related to count function some function you please go ahead and click on this excel count and some family if you're looking for something which you uh, want to create on the for forms using the excel vba please go in this playlist right so everything is in front of you right so we are talking about here outlook so i want to tell you that we have already actually uploaded uh, i think 32 35 videos on the outlook you can see this playlist excel vba connecting outlook from excel so when you click on that uh, this would take you to the another playlist now you can see here this is this is the playlist and we have got 32 videos all the videos are unique all the videos are different and in this video we are going to today see that if you want to uh, this is my outlook for example and in this outlook what i want to do is i want to create an appointment right so appointment generally what how it happens now i'm using office 2016 so uh, the you know kind of the fact the appearance you know it uh, the formatting it looks uh, it may look different but the concept remains same so i go to my calendar this is my calendar guys and you know that if you have to do it manually you go in the new appointment and there you set up everything you set up the subject location and the you know start time end time and at the same time also like to give the date what is the date like for example today when i'm uploading this video it's 13 actually 13 zero zero hours and the date is uh, 5th of you know the May. So this is what we want to do. Oh, you can do that This is something we are going to learn today using the VPA. Okay, of course in the coming sessions I will not I will not stop here. We will further go ahead and you know dig down some more things and uh, we will uh, make pretty awesome codes um, especially uh, which revolves around the the calendars the appointment, right? So this is going to be a very basic video. So first of all, let us learn how to do that. So this is my Excel and I'm going to create here uh, all the things and uh, so we go to the developer and the visual basic now this is where we are going to write the program okay now this is this is going to be a connectivity you know with the outlook so as you know if you if you are following my channel regularly and if you would have watched those 30 or 32 videos the first thing which you need to do is you need to actually have a library so you go in this Microsoft in the tools and the reference and you find out where is your outlook library my library actually is um, it has to be somewhere here I can't see it I think it's already activated yeah I'm sorry I just forgot actually I was working on the outlook so for some some of you know one of the projects actually so it's already there but just in case if it is not there you know if it is like this if I just click OK and then you go to the tool reference this is I'm telling you if you're a beginner right that's why I want to actually start from the scratch so you go here and you find it out where is the uh, outlook part, right so they are all alphabetically sorted out so I think it should be a little up and this is where it is 16.0 is my library because I'm using outlook 2016 right? that doesn't matter so now once you have this library make sure that you come back to the tool reference and see that if it is there now it, if, if it is showing here on the top after your these four by default libraries you are okay with that now how are we going to work on this now i want to tell you something the first uh, the first thing is that i'm going to create the outlook application which uh, as you know that it is going to be the biggest application okay after we create the outlook application what is the next thing we would like to do is now in the outlook application because we are going to work on the calendars you should be knowing that the calendars are also the folders right calendar is just a folder which is created in the outlook so that means we will have to target the folders now which folder now you have here all the folders right so you can see here that we have the calendar folder and uh, um, then you may have other things as well uh, for example deleted items you know uh, that depends I mean there can be a number of things uh, there's a junk folder as well you know that right so these are all the folders right 
and if you look at this this is the inbox and this is the draft and then sent item delete item you know then this is the archive and then junk email this is what i'm talking about guys right so we have to actually target we have to target on the calendar folder right so in order to uh, target the calendar folder what you have to do is you have to actually use a class that class is actually going to be the namespace class so you will, we're going to use the namespace class okay now this class actually we use it whenever you want to specify your folder right uh, whenever the what, what is a default folder which default folder you would like to work with whether it is a inbox draft render sent deleted item junk what is it so that's why we're going to use these two uh, the very important classes and of course because we want to create the uh, you know the folder i'm also going to going to create the outlook folder here so outlook folder will also be there and then after the outlook folder what is the next thing we will have well the next thing we will have here is the appointment okay so we will create all these things so these are the basically all the classes which we are going to use here first we'll create the outlook object and then we're going to create the namespace using the namespace that we will define our folder and folder is has to be you know it, it it is going to be equals to my this uh, you know the calendar basically the folder and then after that uh, once once we are through with that what we will do is we will set up the appointment which is again going to be a part of this calendar folder that's how it is going to work like that okay I hope uh, you are understanding the point and now uh, let us just go ahead and make this you know the code so this is how it looks like we have um, let me just give some indenting so now you can see here that uh, first you have the outlook application and then in the out outlook application the namespace class and then further in the namespace we're going to use the folder and then in the folder we have the appointment right so let's go ahead and make the code guys so the first thing is that so i'm just going to give it a name called create appointment and then as usual we are going to define our outlook you know object so i'm going to write here demo as outlook application and then you're going to define it as c set o equals to new outlook dot application right this is how we do it right so we have the object o is created and now in the vb memory now what is the next thing i said we will define the namespace so you're going to define the namespace uh, you know uh, namespace as ons ons is my own object you can create anything you can give it a any any name that's fine provided there should be no special character and then the next thing is that i'm going to define my basically this ons as well so this is how we define the ons if you are following the channel regularly but still i would tell you get namespace and then you can write here mapi which is message application platform interface okay now this line is very important for you because this class actually opens the gates for us to deal with the folder so i'm going to define my folder for example so i just define my folder as calendar folder as outlook dot folder and now my calendar folder is going to be equals to what so you've got to tell you know which folder you're dealing with so that is what i'm defining here so i just use my namespace class and here you have the method called the get default folder now you understand the purpose of declaring this ons because we cannot use this get folder if you're not going to use uh, your object as a namespace so these two lines are very important that's that that's the kind of a role they are playing here because we want to use this get default folder right so i define it and now these are all the folders in front of you conflict con uh, you know uh, context deleted item inbox so obviously you know that i want to choose the calendar so i'm going to choose the calendar and there we go so we choose the calendar and that's it now what is the next thing now in this calendar i want to create an appointment so there is one more thing i want to write it in my ept as let's say outlook dot appointment appointment item then my appointment equals to now you have to tell the appointment appointment is going to be a part of your obviously or uh, you know the calendar right so you write here the calendar name which is calendar dot cal dot underscore folder then you're going to write here you know this items and then you're going to add the add which item would you like to add the type of that this is something you will have to write it appointment item okay and that's how we are done with that. now with this appointment what you would like to do so you can write the with and the end if you know that's gonna make the code pretty good to read so now what all we can do so as as i was showing you uh, you got to write here a time okay so you you can write the start so what is the start time so start time have, has to be equals to you give the time function time value and then right right now it is 13 14 uh, when i'm recording this video so maybe i can give it a time called um 13 30 
okay we give the time as 13 30 and then zero zero put it everything within the quotes because this is going to be a you know this is going to be my time as a string so i'm just gonna add the double quote here um, so that's how we write the time so this is going to be set up for this time and obviously you need the end time as well so how long you want this so i'm going to again write time value which is a vba function if you want to understand the time and the date functions please uh, please uh, go to the playlist excel vba functions time is string uh, it says st string that is why i'm putting it everything within the quotes just in case if you are wondering right so i'm gonna write here 45 so this meeting is going to this appointment i'm gonna keep it only for you know 15 minutes as you can do well you can also write the location okay so the location has to be for example i'm gonna write here uh, room number maybe 44 what else uh, you can write the subject as well so i can write the subject here that uh, uh, discussion discussion on kpis performance indicators all right and then what else we can do maybe we can write the body in the body also that uh, uh, this is this is going to uh, talk about uh, new process for example right now that's what you can do and um, then uh, at the end of the day you got to save it want to save it right now when you run this let us see how it is going to work so i'm just going to actually uh, run this so just a second i have this here uh, my calendar let me go to my calendar and you can see here right now is uh, it's friday actually uh, which is my favorite day one of my favorite days because i just wait for the weekend uh, whole week you know we work so much and then saturday sunday we we can spend the time with families friends you know enjoy so i hope you have you're having a wonderful time today it's friday actually so so let's go and scroll it down and you can see here that there's nothing you know i'm able to see here so the calendar is absolutely blank and obviously because this is not my official actually outlook so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just simply going to uh, run this code so let us go ahead and run the code f8 i press f8 and there we go i hope there would be no error perfect so this is what it is happening and now it is going to say once it is done so the macro ran that means there is no problem all right so you see that there is something which is coming here wow this is amazing question on kpis 13 if i just open this if i just have to open this that's how it is going to look like you can see location start time end time this is going to talk about new process that even the body is there everything is there except for one thing you know what <laughs> look at the date guys it's not coming correct because i never use the date right this i just realized actually the time is coming correct so we have to actually work with the date as well and i guess if i just close this for example and i just this you know maybe i just snooze this for another five minutes uh so am i able to see that i don't think so i will be able to see that because the date is not captured date is coming wrong it is still showing me as a blank calendar so what you need to do is you got to actually add the date as well this is the date function of vba i talked about this date function in one of my playlist excel vba functions it's a very good function date date is just like you know today function like in excel you use the today function right it gives you back to the today date in the vba instead of the today use the date function so i'm just going to join it with this time so that the date and the time both, both would come you know together so now let's go ahead and run this so i'm gonna hit on you know hit here there we go macro ran now let's go to the calendar and i want to see that if i have that value saved or not and of course this reminder is coming right this is looking nice i just want to double click here now why this reminder is coming there is a reason for that i'll just tell you right so i just open this and you can see that start time and time the date is coming here perfect guys this is absolutely looking cool so i just go and snooze it for another five minutes maybe let us say now i want to see that if this is coming here or not i just scroll it down and look at this guys that's what it now shows discussion on kps room number 24 now we have been able to save this and the reason is because now we inserted the date previously it was absolutely the wrong date right now you can also set up your own reminders in the programming now why it actually showed up because when you go in the file and the option the, in your outlook 
and an option uh, when you click on the calendar basically you have your default reminders so I this default reminder generally uh, is I think by default it, it is always 15 minutes but then you can change it you know five minutes or ten minutes right so that will work accordingly so obviously if I'm you know setting up my time as 1330 right now it is 1320 so when you when I run this immediately when this calendar is going to be saved on my outlook you know because of that rule the pop-up would come so you can do one thing uh, just in case if you have to set up the time here I think uh, you can set up the time uh, here as well so there is actually a you know uh, the property or which uh, we can put in the VBA code uh, you should use dot reminder reminder minutes before start so that's what actually you can also use right you can use this um, so you can write here the time value which is going to be you know time for example you want to set up that every time when this happens this meeting happens uh, you want it uh, before 45 minutes or you want to set up the reminder right so what will happen this when the code is going to save it will set up the time reminder as 45 minutes right if you're going to set up it as something else maybe like let's say zero five five minutes only right that's how you can do that but just ensure that then this file option the rule should be deleted should be removed because this is also going to work the same way right so you may be wondering that i have set up the five minutes reminder but this is coming you know 15 minutes before so why is it so because of this default reminder so maybe you can uncheck that and then the vba code will work well that's all up to you i don't think so that i would be requiring this in the vba unless until i want to really you know increase the length of this duration of this for example if my outlook says that it has to be 15 minutes maybe for this particular piece i want a one hour before reminder so that i can do it right so that's all up to you i mean this is how you can actually create your appointment right now in the next video also we're going to talk about something more flexible which is to how to actually set up the multiple appointment in just one go right you can create the um, you know many things in the excel you can create a proper kind of a data and from that data running the loops you can create all your calendars so that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions let me know about it and please do subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys for watching we'll talk soon